spent the afternoon doing just that. They're creating fanatical changes for families who've been hit hard by tragedy over the last two weeks. Fanatical change. Fanatical change. It's a great cause. It's local. We see where our dollars are going. It's important to the community. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things. I really like what Fanatical Change does. 100% of the proceeds go back to charity. I'm here at the Ariolas home. Um, their son was Jose, and he attended Porter High School. He was one of the young men that was in the car accident on uh, a few days ago. But we just wanted to come and let you know that cares about you. Three of the five uh, teenage boys that were in the car died. We're heading to the uh, second family right now. Um, she basically said that her son was really special to her. He was a really good kid. And as far as what she said um, to the donors, she just wanted to thank them very much. The oldest son of two brothers and one sister. And he loves um, several Estonians came out after this benefit, knowing they were going to be benefiting uh, your sister. And all we ask is everybody pray and love their sisters or their brothers to the fullest because you don't know when they're going to be taken. A week ago, the East Houston home where Joyce Robertson has lived for the past 54 years went up in flame. Uh, David and her son Roderick and the house caught fire in the fall investigation. Told as long as I have a house, you have one. So we are here together. And today, Faye and Joyce got quite the surprise. I told you so. Uh, Roderick was by yesterday Today, fanatical change also helped the families of the three boys from Porter High School who were killed in a car crash this past week, and the family of a young Houston man who was the victim of a random act of violence.